Hey everyone, it's Pixel Pops here, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a, a very long awaited updated current household. Uh, what is this month? July, and I don't think I've updated them since um, March, April at time. I have not updated you guys since then, and to be honest, not a lot has happened anyway because I was in a funk where I didn't play Sims at all and just kind of living my life. Um, I graduated high school, um, which is the last time we've probably spoken. Um, got a tattoo. <laughs> you know, things have been evolving in my life. Um, things have been going pretty well, pretty bad, same thing, just, you know, up and down. But anyway, you are not here for that purpose. Basically, the only reason you'll ever see me upload on this channel is basically for current households. I was honestly thinking of turning my channel into just a current household updating channel of my current households just because like that's typically all I ever do is just play current households. And I am still playing the Bucket Family um, despite all the glitches and the fun, fun issues that I have with this save and family, I am still playing them. And a lot has, really a lot has happened. Over the past two days I've been playing so, so, so much, like hours on end playing. And it's been really, really fun. And like whenever I have a time, I'll just play, you know, I have to get my queue up for Tumblr and stuff because I post it on my Tumblr, as we've all known. And yeah, I just have a lot to update you guys on. We are still in Generation 2, which is World Adventures. I'm doing Alepacy, which is basically following every expansion pack there is for Sims 3. And we're on Generation 2, almost on Generation 3, which I'm really excited for. And Generation 3 is Ambitions, which I think by the next update we will be jumping into Generation 3 at that point. Um, I'll try and do monthly updates if I even can, can do that. Um, right now I'm on summer break, so that's why I'm playing so much more and I don't work as often. But anyway, you're probably like, who is this child staring at me in my soul? Like, let me just show you guys. Okay, so I think we're going to do a house tour first. We are still in the same house. I don't know if anything. This save is very laggy. I apologize. Um, it can be very laggy. Um, we are in the same house. Um, somebody on Tumblr made this house for me, and honestly, it's been perfect for my house, my Sims and stuff, and just everything that I need. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in. There has been a lot of changes from our Sims, as you can see. I'm gonna do a quick, quick, a quick rundown of the house, just because I, it hasn't changed at all. Um, so basically this is just a downstairs floor, you walk in, we just had a birthday, woo, um, and then you walk in and it's like a cross between a kitchen and a living room, which again I have not changed anything since I first started playing them. Maybe added a few paintings here and there that Mateo have stolen for us, has stolen for us, so that's about it. Um, and you come across and it is just a dining room area. And then out back is uh, where I do a lot of things. Honestly, a lot of my sims are back here throughout the majority of their day. Uh, we have a garden. We have um, Finn's little like uh, karate thingy, thingy, fighting wood. You know, all he does is fight wood. And then we have a telescope that Mateo stole for us. And if we go a little bit back here, we have the start of a grave. And I'm not going to spoil anything just yet. He will cry in a second, I promise you. And then over here you have the bathroom, and my mouse is like broken right now, so like I can't like turn correctly. <laughs> it's, it's it's a struggle, so I'm just gonna have to use the rotators. Um, anyway, yep, that is that. And then over here we have like a little like kid area for the kids to play. Not really like kids. It's just you know we only have one child in the house. So, I mean she plays in that room, and then it's gonna be like it was really as a storage room at first. And then over here is like another part where all my Sims are always at. It's just uh, like an activity room. Or like a skill building room basically so like that's where they are always at for the main part so that's a downstairs floor plan it's pretty big and then upstairs is a little bit smaller so we come over here into the hallway and the first one is our uh, master bedroom for uh, our two sims then this is like a I don't know how, how do I explain this is like a headquarter is it a headquarters room like a with the butler's room I'm gonna call it the butler's room even though we don't have a butler it's just for one of our sims and then this is our teenage daughter's room, a bathroom again, and then our child's bathroom, our child's bedroom. And that is it for the house. And then we have our cars outside, we have our police cruiser, and then we have our Renato triage. I don't know how to say that, but yeah. I'm going to jump in to, I'm not going to play anything, just so you guys know, I always do my current households on pause because I have ADHD, so I get distracted very quickly when my sims are doing stuff. And it just, it would go to a shit show if I do get distracted, just yeah. Okay, anyway. First we have, um, we don't have our founder no more. Our founder, Sarah Bucket, has actually passed on, which is our gravestone. Um, let's show you the family tree at first. So basically we are heading on to generation three. These are the kids of generation three. Um, 
This is Mateo. He's a kleptomaniac, ambitious, hot-headed, brave, daredevil. His partner, which is his wife, Sarah Bucket, which is our founder for the leprosy. She had passed away from old age, and she was basically like a gardener, and you can see her in my past current household, my last one. Um, I did one with her as an elder as well. I love her so much. I miss her so, I miss her so much. Like, I literally, I didn't get any warning. Like, it shows you, like, a warning, like, oh, so-and-so is getting really old. They might pass on soon. But they didn't give me any warning of her passing away, and it just happened, and she was at work, and I was really sad, and ugh, it was just terrible. And everyone was heartbroken for, like, two days, and I was too. Um, so that was his wife, and now we have Mateo here. He's the last one of Generation 1. And I'm just waiting for him to die off. But apparently, if they're very athletic, they won't die off as fast. He's like 91 years old, and he's very athletic. He maxed out the, the athletic skills, so he's probably going to be living a lot longer than expected. Um, but yeah, he basically had four kids. They had triplets, and then they had Finn. And Finn was the one that carried on to Generation 2. Yeah, Generation 2. So that's Finn. I'll get into him. Then he had the first of... So Ellie was a glitchy kid, so I had him like, reset her. She was like, putting some... Which basically means like no sliders and stuff like that and then the rest of them are like the triplets so we have harlow and nova and nova had two kids named craig and rosalind which i actually do post both of them craig and rosalind on my tumblr because i just like posting updates from other family members that like our our kids had and stuff like that i don't know it's just fun and um craig is really cute because he actually carried on like the the bucket nose and ears which sarah had like a really big nose and like pointy ears and stuff like that so craig it really had is the only one that carried that on um out of generation three um so we're kind of losing all of the bucket i don't know what they're called like the buckets um uh facial features like, for like losing them basically but finn is the one that carried on for generation two and then he had two kids as i say three but that's not our kid that's ellie's kid um so like I was saying, this is Mateo. He is 91 years old. He liked pop, spaghetti, and lime. He also completed becoming an astronaut, which is level 10 in the military crack, which crack, crack, track. And he's completed that. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, relationships. Uh, yeah, he gets 430,000 an hour. He's retired. Skills. He maxed out athletic. He's going to max out cooking, hopefully. He's level 8. Uh, level 7 writing and master handiness. I'm having him working on writing books now just because he has nothing else to really do in his older older days. It's just helping bring in some income, which you can tell we are almost at six, $60,000, which is really nice. Um, yeah, that's really it. He has a lot of lifetime reward, but I don't know what to give him. So right now he has Speedy Cleaner and acclaimed author, and that is it for Mateo. He is just living life right now. So, as I was saying, we were talking about <laughs> the Bucket family, and it's literally been, like, a whole day later. <laughs> um, I was in the middle of filming my current household, and then my mom came home, and then I went out with her and did stuff, and I got home really, really late, and just, I didn't have time to film, so now I'm picking back up, and it's the next day in real life here. Anyway, we were talking about the family, and I know I went over Mateo. So, basically, Mateo had triplets, and then he had Finn, and I took over with Finn, and as you can see, Finn is pretty old now. He is an adult. He just had a birthday, which is that is what was happening when I first started, is that it was his birthday. So basically, he's Generation 2, the like the leader on to Generation 2. Um, it is World Adventures, so his lifetime wish is to martial arts master, is basically to be uh, reach level 10 in the martial arts skill and obtain grand, grand master rank, my bad, which we are doing really well on. Um, he is a Virgo. He loves classical music, fried peanut butter, banana sandwiches, and black. He also has good sense of humor, good, excitable, handy, and absent-minded. And I do actually, uh, like, randomize everyone's traits that I play with. So those are all randomized. I think they're pretty damn good. <laughs> and, um, that is that for his information. Um, he knows quite a lot of people. Um, this is a guy he goes to work with that he talks to a lot. This is his boss, I guess. And then he right now is level 7 in the law enforcement career, which is really good. He went as a special agent, secret agent, something like that. So he's making some good money and he's just doing really well so far. And that's just kind of like a side job to bring cash in because like he was going to be really, really bored if all he had to do was go and do like martial arts and stuff. And like I just wanted them to be able to do like another job so he didn't have something else to do. So that's what I had him do. As uh, for skills, he's level 6 athletic, level 3 cooking, level 5 logic, level 1 writing, I don't know how, and level 9 martial arts. So, as you can see, that's like his main one. So, as for his inventory, he just has a bunch of shit from digging through trash cans, and then his beeper for his law enforcement. Um, 
He has a good amount of lifestyle, um, lifestyle skills, <laughs> lifetime happiness reward points, but I'm not sure what to give him. So right now he has fast learner, op opportunist, um, professional slacker, jet setter, and prepared traveler. So basically it's just all the things that he needs for what he's doing. And so that is basically it for Finn. He is now an adult. And then we're going to go on to his girlfriend, which is not even his girlfriend. It's his wife now. This is Dana. She was actually born in the Urson family. Uh, she was a game baby brought in from, like, base game sims. So she turned out really, really pretty. And I just loved her. But as soon as I saw her, I was like, she's getting married to Finn. Like, I don't care. So basically, Dana is in the medical career. Um, so her lifetime wish is to reach level 10 in the medical career track. And in my last video, I know I had her change her lifetime reward. Um, her lifetime wish, I had her change it a good amount of times because I was unsure of what I wanted to do with her. At first, I had her do something like closer to like World Adventures, but I decided not to. Just have Finn work on, work on that. So it's still a part of the Generation 2 requirements for her to compl complete. So it didn't really matter, but she has to reach level 10 in the medical career track. And she is a Sagittarius. She likes kids, dim sum, and the color black. Oh, wait, they have the same color. That's so cute. Um, she's also absent-minded, which I freaking play with so many absent-minded sims. If you didn't know, Sarah was also absent-minded, and then she carried it down to freaking Finn, and now Dana has it too. So it's absent-minded, photographer's eye, daredevil, excitable, and frugal. And she also is an adult. She turned an adult before Finn did. Uh, Relationships-wise, just really is close with Finn. She is not really close with any of his family members, like his dad and stuff. But she is also level 7 in the medical career, so she's a gene therapist, and she's doing really, really well as well. And they really have boosted up into their career so fast, and it's really awesome. She's level 1 athletic, level 5 cooking, level 1 gardening, level 7 logic, and level 6 painting, level 2 writing. And um, logic is for like her job and stuff, so I really had her focus on that. I was going to have her take over Sarah's, Sarah's garden, but I'm going to have one of the kids do it um, instead. And she just has like a medical journal that she has to read in there and also has her medical beeper and stuff. And she has opportunities complete, lifetime reward points, she doesn't have that many. She has multitasker, opportunist as well, learned relic hunter, and prepared traveler. Again, just stuff for like world adventures. So um, that is that for like the adult sims. Now on to the firstborn in generation 2, which is now generation 3, and she's in the freaking shower. Um, okay, let me just get her out of there because... Um, yeah, I don't need her to be in the shower right now. So, come on. I'm sorry. Boobs, 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 boobs. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, so this is our firstborn. This is Robin Bucket. She was a glitchy baby, as well as Ellie. If you guys remember Ellie, Ellie was like, this baby that I couldn't age up. She was a part of the triplets. I couldn't age her up. And so, I basically had to reset her, and she aged up. And she was like a pudding face, which was like no slider, so I couldn't have her be the heir. So I wanted Robin to be the heir as well, so of course I had a glitchy baby. But this is Robin, she's our firstborn, and I actually do really like her. She might still be the heir, I'm not too sure what I'm feeling yet. Um, I'm just still trying to like figure out what sim I like more, either her or her sister. Um, but as for Robin, she is a Libra, she likes French, gooby carbonara, and spice brown. She's hot headed, handy, neat, and easily impressed, so she's an interesting sim, honestly. Um, Friends-wise, she's actually really close with her sister. That's about it. Robin never was really um, a person to have a lot of friends. Um, her first friend was... Wait, is it, I think this is her first friend right here. And as you can tell, they're only acquaintances now at school. She did have a job previously, but she was always so tired. And I'm having her take care of the garden now. I'm having Robin take care of the garden to take over her grandmother. Just in case like I want to play her as Generation 2. Um, I'll probably have her sister do the same thing just because I don't know who I'm playing with yet, but she is level 4 logic, level 4 gardening, and level 1 writing. Uh, inventory just has all the stuff she has to go sell. No, well, she has a few opportunities and lifetime rewards. I haven't really focused on her quite yet. So, that is that for Robin. And then the last kid of Generation 2 is Sunny Bucket. She's honestly really cute. Um, she was about to be a Gucci baby, but I made sure it didn't happen, thank God. Um, so... This is Sunny. I don't know much about her yet. She's a very interesting person. Just to say the least, she really takes after her trait party animal because all she does is dances from the radio. Like, she'll come home from school, go straight to the radio, dances. She'll wake up in the morning, go right to the radio and dances. It's so freaking funny. So she's a party animal, never nude, and an angler, and her, color, her favorites are pop, egg rolls, and hot pink, and she's a cancer, which I thought was pretty cool. 
and as her friends, she's really close to her grandfather. I can't even tell you how close. They're like best friends, and it's so cute because they are best friends, and her and her sister are good friends. Her and her dad, they're distant friends, which is really sad, and I don't even think she even like talks to her mom at all. Yeah, her mom is all the way back here as an acquaintance. That's really, really sad. It's just because like Dana and Finn will always be at work, and like Mateo's always home. So, like, he's always taking care of her. Um, as for elementary school, she's a grade A, and Robin was a grade A as well. Uh, Robin's on the honor roll, I think, or she she was on the honor roll for a day. Um, skills, she doesn't have any, and it's really it. Sunny just kind of aged up, but she'll be aging up in three days too with a teenager, so I'll have more of an idea of who I want to take over for Generation 3 with. So, that, I think, actually concludes the current household. Um, this felt like it took so much longer than it really needed. It took like two days for me to film this for no apparent reason at all. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely be doing another update on these guys. So if you'd like to see another one, give this video a big, big like and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.